Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we are at the 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time. We watch many of the commercials on television and they make promises that you would never believe. One commercial says, listen to this CD and instantly you can speak Spanish fluently. Another says, drink this milkshake and lose 30 pounds in one week. Many of the commercials make incredible promises and all of them are based on shortcuts. But we all know that there is no shortcut to greatness. And in the Gospel this morning, Jesus tells the Apostles, at last the hour has come when God the Father kept his promise and sent the Messiah. Jesus is the one they waited for. And Jesus says, he has come on a mission to take away our sins, to set us free from darkness and death, to give us life that will never end, to show us the way to the Father's house and to join with eternal life. All this is possible because Jesus is willing to suffer and die on the cross. And then Peter steps forward and says, But isn't there a shortcut? Surely not the cross, Lord. Take a shortcut to greatness. But we all know that there is no shortcut to greatness, neither is there a shortcut to love. Love demands all that we are. Ask any parents, any married couple, any grandparents. When you love someone, it's a giving of yourself completely. It's a question of putting that person and their needs before your own. It's a giving yourself, that person holding back nothing, even when it's not easy or inconvenient. In the Gospel today, Jesus says, I have come to love you with the love that is requiring suffering on the cross. But if I truly love you, I will do it. St. Francis of Assisi says, Look at the cross and see the greatest love story ever told. God loved the world so much that he sent his son to die and give his life for us out of love so that we could be his forever. St. Peter steps forward in this morning gospel and says, Lord, take a shortcut and do not do it. And Jesus turns and says something powerful, Get behind me, Satan. The gospel tells us that just at the beginning of our Lord's public ministry, Jesus goes on a retreat for 40 days in a desert and while praying and preparing himself to begin his public ministry, to begin his journey to the cross, the devil appears and three times tries to tempt Jesus away from the cross and tries to offer Jesus a shortcut to love. And so when Jesus hears Peter saying this, it's a reminder that conversation all those months earlier. Peter, get behind me, Satan. Let nothing get in my way of love for my people. And so in the Gospel today, Jesus reveals he has come to love us with a love beyond our imagination and understanding. And in our world today, Sometimes it's so confused and so distracting. Today the message is loud and clear to each one of us. God loves us and wants to pay the price way beyond our imagination so we can be His forever. May you and I look at the cross
cross today and see the greatest love story ever told, Jesus would not do any shortcuts that he would love us that we might 